day two has arrived. And as always, we'll start new days off by looking at our journal to see what's changed. We have what looks to be two notes that are new. First one says free food day one at 2.40 p.m. Sounds like I'm getting room and board here. Getting caught and taken here might not be such a bad thing after all. Day two morning, 12 o'clock a.m. It was dragged me out of bed way too early. Made me get dressed and cleaned up, then led me to the dining hall. What is he? My mother? Followed my new classmates to the road classroom. So those are the two new notes. If we look at our to-do list, we need to learn to lockpick. We need to get some lockpicks. Find the library and get cleaned up. Once again, we only have one achievement, and that's the studious achievement. We look at an inventory. We are now armed with a dagger and a throwing knife. Our reputation is everyone is basically an acquaintance with us, except we're disliked by Cesare and an enemy of Turk. And that, yes, everyone else is an acquaintance. Looks like there's still eight people we haven't met, but we're doing pretty well so far. Let us spend the day actually going around and trying to explore more of the school. Because that's something that we didn't do yesterday. This is the classroom door. Can we go back in here, by the way? Darn, they keep the door locked outside of class hours. It's not as though Gerhardt keeps anything valuable in there. Listen at the door. Don't hear anyone in. Okay, so nothing new with the door. But we did get, uh, what was it, perception up when we listened on certain things and searched. So we probably want to keep doing that. Let's look at the portrait. The red in that vest must have cost a fortune. We'll search it. No hidden safes or treasures here. Okay. Look at the statue. That's clearly Sister Dominique Decker, the nun who was forbidden by order from singing publicly. I think we looked at this one. Yes, bar none. Pretty sure we looked at that one. I'm pretty sure we looked at that one. And that's the practice room. I do not want to spend today in the practice room. Like I said, I really want to actually explore more of the uh, castle today. It's so cool to say the castle. At least I got my exercise this way. This is almost like, you know, playing a Hogwarts game. By the way, the new Hogwarts game on the PS4 or PS5 looks tremendous. I'm actually really excited for that. Look at the plant. It's got big, beautiful blooms and it smells great. I suspect there's a lot more magic at use around here than I'm aware of. We'll search it. Any money? Clean as a whistle. Nope, no money. Here's a very interesting family portrait. The plaque says that this is the Dolan family. Must be a Highland gang. We'll look behind it. And finding nothing. Search the plant. That might be a widow's blood plant. I'll keep my distance from it, just be on the safe side. Oh, can we search it? Well, that took no time at all. She's clean, nothing in the plant. No, I don't wanna use the take options because we were told not to steal in this place. Yeah, I just wanna, you know, just look around and take anything that's not obvious. Look at this suit armor. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but isn't it weird how his visor seemed to follow you around the room? We're not going to take a wear. Those are bad choices. Look at the plant. Again, a widow's blood plant. And in this one, nothing either. Look at the cute little dog. Oh, that dog is so adorable. Look at the little honky honk. What do you call these things? I don't know. I call it a honky honk. They say it's a portrait of Mopey the Magnificent. He's clearly a mechanized mutt and a steampunk puppy. Uh, we can't look behind it, unfortunately. Look at the leafy plant. The philodendron seems to be minding its own business. Wow, you're... You know what a philodendron is? Because I have no idea. That took me by surprise. Anything in the plant? Who would try to hide something in this? You have to be adult painted. I guess not. Door to Sozi and Kyra's room. I don't think anyone's in the room right now. Ooh, can we go in? The door is sealed shut. I can't budge it. What a shame. It would be awesome if we could like break into his room. Suit of armor. 
This is the authentic suit of armor worn by Arthur the Nauseous. Nauseous. We're not going to wear a take. Here's Thomas's room. Listen at the door. I don't hear anything. He has a room to himself. Can we knock? Guess Thomas is out of his dorm right now. Let's look at the plant. Uh, seems to do well with no sunlight. Yes, it does, doesn't it? And I poked and prodded, it, but I find nothing amiss. Nothing in the plant. Here's a statue. Alexian. Under the name Alexian, the plaque also says the man with no name. It then says Alexian was a handsome Samarian mortal who was given the gift of immortality. He now forever wanders the land, bringing justice to all. Wherever he is, I wouldn't want to mess with him. He looks cold-blooded. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sconce. When I was a child, I used to believe that sconces only grew on the north side of walls. I was such a fool. Now I know they grow wherever. <laughs> we don't need to take it with us because we have an inner glow of our own. Kitty and Esme's room. I can't find a keyhole, yet it's shut tight. I don't know how these doors work. Let's listen. I don't think anyone's in the room right now, so it's kind of pointless to knock. Because that'll just waste time. Let's search the plant. And it's the same philandrin, so don't need to go through that. But hopefully that improved our skills a little bit. Here's another widow's blood plant. Like I said, you know, because I never played this game before, I have no idea if what we're doing actually does anything. So I'm just doing everything. Look at the door. It's the door to the gentleman's bathroom. Gentlemen, hey, that's me. Freshen up. We were told to do that, right? That was refreshing. Clean up your act. Rub a dub dub. Me and my blue uh, Loch Ness monster thingy in the tub. There, I feel like a new man. Use the toilet. TMI. I won't be a potty to that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh. Got some more widow's plants with nothing in it. Here's a new portrait. The plaque says Sajnav Apad. True friends stab you in the front. Guess if I ever come across him, I have to unfriend him. I thought maybe this was like read backwards, but when I did that, it says Dorp Van Jos, which doesn't make any sense. Look behind the painting. I think I'll leave that thing right where it is. I don't want to get angry. I wouldn't like it when it's angry. What do we got here? Ooh, the ladies' bathroom. It might just have the faintest hint of a floral aroma, but it could be my expectations playing tricks on me. Open it. I'm trying, but my sense of self-reservation keeps getting in the way. Well, that and the fact that the door seems sealed shut. Oh, I didn't mean to do it twice. Done. We do need to keep an eye on the clock because dinner is at six, right? But we have explored this wing, so we are good. Why don't we go ahead and take into a little jog here. And we will continue on. We will search this plant. It's another widow's blood. And I'm going to search it and probably find nothing. Yep. Find nothing once again. Going to the Great Hall. Let's turn to walk just in case we're seen by anyone. Portrait of a kingly man. He looks familiar. Was he the king of Samaria or something? I'll just move to the side and look. And no. That's the one place he didn't keep the treasure. But our perception did go up. You see, I'm almost positive if we keep, like, searching things, our skills will go up. It's kind of a shame that when you hover over the skill, it doesn't give you a description of the skill. You know, that's one thing I really liked about Quest for 5 is that... It did that for you. Whoa! You're that Connor! What are you doing walking around the halls? You should be in class! Um, uh, 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 shh. We, we were supposed to go to the library, right? Invent an excuse. I, I was told by Master Van Arnwald that I need to buy a thief's toolkit. So I thought I'd just head back to Caligari to find one. A uh, thief's toolkit? It is outrageous that such an illegal activity be taught at the school. Ah, uh, sweet young man, you're on probation. You are not to leave the castle. 
Any purchase you need can be made at the school store. I can't leave the castle? For how long? Ah, you must stay inside this castle to expel for poor behavior, which hopefully is sooner than later. Failure disbarred bard class or in any unlikely event that you make it at the end of the semester. Uh, how are you, Mr. Turk? So, are you the guy in charge of the school? Ah, uh, well, the headmaster may have had at the school. I am the person in charge of making it certain that all students, including you, young man, you stupid little boy, follow the rules and behave properly, respect authority. My authority. If I were in charge of the school, matter of fact, there would be no disbarred bard class. No one the luck of you would be allowed in this school. Okay, well, tell me about the school. What is the point of this school? Ah, this university gives students the proper tools of education to do heroic things. Heroic things, unlike you, and make the world a better place. What hero has a master to do with you, though? I do not know. The headmaster is in grave error if he believes that you or any of your classmates will become anything other than criminals. Uh, I'm told that I need to buy something from the school store. Ah, I like the excuse. The store's downstairs from here. Go to the end of the quarter, turn right, and then through the door. Not through the door, literally. You bonehead. You're supposed to open the door. Because I know that's even the thing that you would do. The shopkeeper is another example of how ill-managed the university is. Why that overgrown road and salary here? I have no idea. Uh, tell me, sir. What can I do to better fit around here? I'd like to make a good impression. <laughs> if you want to try to make something yourself, get yourself a school uniform for the store. And wear it during school hours. At least that way, you will look like a ragamuffin tramp. Updated journal. I will agree to get a uniform. No, we're not going to mock him. The rules of the disbarred bard class clearly stated that we needed to... Oh, by the way, we're supposed to go back into the practice room to read uh, the thing that was on the wall. Oops, I forgot to do that. Okay, tomorrow in the next, like, day three, we'll do that, if I remember. But anyway, our, our rules said to be polite to those in power over us. So we'll agree. That's clearly a fine suggestion. I'll buy one as soon as I can. Ah, see that you do. I expect you to be waiting the next time I see you during school hours. Uh, I hope it's free though, because I don't have a lot of money. Uh, I'll see you later, sir. Ah, I want to see you as long as possible, Connor. Stay out of trouble and away from me. Curfew is at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. I tell you, not 10 01, but 10 p.m. And if I catch you walking around the halls after that, arr, you will receive demerits. We will see how quickly you can earn 200 demerits so I can say farewell to you for good. Ha 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 ha. 100 demerits, there's only 90 more. Uh, thank you, sir. Maybe a bad idea to search things when he's standing here. Ah, well. This is from the Chi'ing Dynasty. Best worth a fortune. Cut Chi'ing. Oh, that was good. I like that one. Uh, let's not talk to Mr. Trick anymore. Kind of scares me. He's got those blood vessels popping out of his veins. It looks like a dashing fine paladin upon a dashing fine horse. The plaque says that this is Sir Justin Hess upon his horse. Look behind. Nothing behind the portrait but dust. Oh, look at this statue. You know, that statue looks like Devin Aindale right here. The plaque says, dedicate to the hero in all of us. Yeah, that's so Devin Aindale. I mean, you know, future Devin Aindale with the sword and the shield. I guess the question is, do I really want to be a hero? Well, do you? Examine. Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Next statue. Aw, oh, she looks pretty. A little elvish there, too. There's something about being near the statue that makes me feel calm and happy. Oh, that's Arana, isn't it? The base of the statue says Arana. She shared joy with the world and made it a safer place for all of us. Yep, totally Arana. That's awesome. I like Arana. Look at the portrait. The plaque says, Saduk Gora, Stalwart Defender. Oh, there's more to it. From abandonment came fear. From fear came violence. Violence turned to persecution. Now persecution bore violence. Violence begat fear, and fear became a hollow solitude. Hero University bestowed hope. Hero you sure has a lot of success stories. Then again, the failures probably don't get the portraits painted. Look behind. Salt rock, like Sarduk's body. So this is the way to the, uh, the eatery, I believe. Yeah, it's the dining hall. We still have some time to look around. It's the Silmarian urn. There's nothing in it, on it, or under it. We're not going to take it. I don't think there's anything with the sconces. 
I mean, there's no way you could hide something in those. Look at this suit of armor. I don't see any remnants of the former occupant inside, which is better than the alternative. Uh, nothing there that I want to do. Let's continue to explore this area first. Portrait of John Howell, a brave mage. Note, bear at it posthumously. <laughs> Don't be silly. There's no bears around these parts. Unless he conjured it without realizing it. Because his back was turned. <gasps> it all fits into place. Well, at least looks like he was having fun right up until the end there. Oh, wait. I didn't look behind. Aha, there's a stone wall in the back of the painting. What a perfect hiding place. <laughs> Okay, there's an infirmary there. I see a store over there. Let's wait in the infirmary until we check this hallway. I know there's nothing inside, but that helmet makes it look like it hates me. Okay. Let's go to the store first, and then we'll head to the infirmary. Because that way we'll loop back around, and then we'll go into the, uh, the dinner hall. If they were serious about making any money, they wouldn't put the school store way back in this lonely corner. They make you walk through it to get to the dining hall. Well, that's true. Can we knock? No response. I wonder if this door is open right now. Let's see if it opens. Hey, it does. Wait, we had to go downstairs for this? Oh my gosh. Hello. So you are the one that Turk was talking about. When he said rodent, he literally meant a rodent. Although, that's kind of being mean. It's a rat. Yes. So we got Gregor. Uh, let's see. Uh rat voice mm. uh, uh, good greetings young master to the university store us good good gregor welcomes you i am gregor gregor is my name how may uh gregor serve the young master uh hello mr gregor back to school sale great hi i'm sean so you're the storekeeper I indeed gregor very pleased to meet master sean G -g gregor keeps the university store full of nice things for the young master to buy so what sort of things do you sell here? Uh, Gregor sells many things at the shop. Uh, official university clothes in official university colors. Uh, healing things. Uh, official disbarred bar class instruments and tools. Many, 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 many very good things. You will like the things Gregor sells. Because Gregor has bright, shiny new lockpicks for sale. Just what the good master needs, yes? What exactly are you? Uh, uh, Gregor buys and sells things at the shop. So Gregor is a shopkeeper. He actually liked that. No, I mean, what kind of creature are you? I've never met anyone like you before. Ah, Gregor is a ratty. Ratty people in Caligari all the time. But, but, but we hide from humans in the old city underground. Humans think ratties are bad. Humans think ratties are rats. But ratties are not rats. Ratties take. You are what you eat, correct? Seriously. Good thing ratties eat more rats than cockroach. <laughs> that is a ratty joke. Goodbye. See you later. Gregor agrees to see the young master go. But Gregor, but Gregor will rejoice when the young master returns. Good journey to you and happy hunting. Let's shop. So we have nice shirts. A, a very fine shirt will make Master Spawn look very smithy. A jacket? Ah, this is your official your, your university jacket. Ah, uh, Master Sean will look absolutely positively dancing in it. We have pants. Those are the official headmaster boot. You are your university pants. They are very snazzy. We have a tie. Ah, you won't find a finer official university hero tied than this, young master. And it looks like, once again, we have oil, chalk, uh, we have potions, though. Healing? Yes, Master Sean needs to stay healthy, so he can help more drats. And antidote. Ah, this will remove the effects of any poison, Master Sean. We have a bandage. Young master can use this to heal nasty drat bites. Lockpicks? Ooh, these are only ten. Wasn't... Um, I forgot the guy's name, but the other guy, the other merchant, wasn't he selling this for 15? Because I'm pretty sure he was. Beginner's Guide to Lockpicks. Uh, this is what's half I need to spot party, young master. I thought I could teach Master Sean how to unlock locks. So basically, in order to use these, we need this. In order to buy this, we need two more Lyra. So it's probably a good idea not to buy anything at this point. Okay. To wine cellar. Open the door. Door is locked. Ah, I, I am sorry, young master. But, but the door to the wine cellar is always locked during the day. Uh, school rules. Uh, after supper time, though, it will be unlocked. 
C come back during the evening time so Greg will light you through. Okay, excellent. So we need to come back during nighttime. Ooh, our perception increase. Uh, I can't hear anything through the store. Maybe I might need my ears cleaned. Well, that was good that we got extra perception. So we need to come back here after dinner, which is kind of a bummer because I'm pretty sure we said that we want to explore the rest of the school. Sure, a lot of stairs in this place. Yeah, there is, isn't there? It's a pretty big castle. Let's head to the infirmary. With Turk sleeping around, it's probably not a good time to practice my listening skills. Oh, what a shame. We'll open the door. That's the early dinner bell. It's about time to go to the dining hall. Yeah, I know, but this is good. Moria Glan Shannon. Ah, oh, I'm running out of voices. Uh, healer and paladin instructor. What should she be like? Welcome to the infirmary. I am Lady Morda Glenshannon, the healer and paladin instructor. How is it that I may help you? Uh, hello, Moira Glenshannon. Hi, I'm Sean O'Connor. I just got here. A pleasure it is to meet you, Sean. You have a bit of lilt to your voice. Did you too come from the Ire? Oh, she's Irish. She can maybe give her a little bit of more Irish accent. I can't do Irish. I'm Irish. I can't do an Irish accent. I really need to learn how to do accents. I mean, especially if I'm doing a YouTube channel for Let's Plays with games that don't have any voiceovers. But anyway, I'm having fun. My parents did. I was born here in Sardonia. I hope you'll be liking it here at the school. What class is it that you are taking? Uh, the disbarred bards class. I'm a disbarred bard, ma'am. I guess that means I'm not quite one thing or another. Oh, I think you are definitely something. You just have to figure out what that thing is. So what's this infirmary? Looks like uh, some beds and a bunch of desks. What do you do? Sit around and learn about sick people? The infirmary is where sick or injured people come, but I try to heal them up quickly. This room also serves as a first aid classroom for people who want to learn more about healing and staying healthy. So what is a paladin? A paladin is someone who dedicates his or her life to the principles of justice and fairness. A paladin is someone who helps others and who strives to change the world around them for the better. It's more of a calling than is a profession or a class. Goodbye. I'll be seeing you some other time then. If you are ever hurt or ill, come see me here. I'll have you hale and hearty as soon as I can. And when you want to learn more about healing, take my first aid class elective if you get the chance. Tis always good to be taking care of yourself. Here, take this bondage. It's just one of the things I'll be teaching about on first aid. I'm sure that you'll find a good use for it. So good day to you, Sean, and I hope you like it here. Good day to you too, Mora. So we still have 45 minutes till we had to get to, well, till we had to be at the dinner hall. The plaque says the Garden of Sotonia. That's breathtaking. I've always wanted to ride a Pegasus. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. I'm sure there's nothing in the back of the painting. Who wants something behind a painting that takes two or three people to move? Yeah, that's a good point. Got some shelves here. Let's see what we have here. This one in front is Dr. Richard Grayson's Extract of Youthful Wort. There are probably things I'd like to have here, but there just aren't very many of them. Someone would probably notice right away if any of them went missing. Now that's a smart, smart little invention right there. No more running back and forth from cabinets to the beds. There's nothing much in the drawers except a few little odds and ends. I guess they only fill it when they know what they'll need. Act my age. I try to roll the cart. You know, that's that's something I would totally do. Just roll it around. If Moya has had much luck with her patients as she does with her plants, I say we're in good hands. Search the plant. There's nothing in the branches. Plants must be tended frequently. It'd be silly to hide things in them. Well, we're still going to look because that might raise our perception skill. Oh, I didn't mean to take it. Poor Spotty the Diffenbachia. <laughs> nothing in the branches. Okay, let's continue on. Sofas. We found money in that last sofa we searched. These are pretty enough to be from a lady's restroom. Search the cushions. No money. Rats. Oh, that is rats. Found money in the last one. But in these, nothing. Got a couple plants tucked away at the corner. 
they are still the same type of plants as the other ones and there's nothing in the branches let's look at these flowering plants now this is exotic i don't think i've ever seen these growing around here but somebody is clearly excellent with plants there's nothing hidden in this plants hmm there is something behind the plant looks like it might have rolled there oh did we find something it's a bottle of pills healing pills finder keepers we just found five healing pills you see that's why you search everything even if it looks like you've already you know searched it holy cracker that's a big cabinet i wonder what's in it hmm behind the glass doors there are various types of potion bottles seems like they would be very useful things to have in case of emergency and i tend to have a lot of emergencies the cabinet is for the use of infirm personnel only i understand it's not as if i come back early and just open it while you're not around what was that oh man i have to work on my innocent act <laughs> we got drying rack looking at these is sort of like the gold standard for dull steal some herbs no one not doing that right now let's check out the other trees we are coming upon 5 30. i wish i were that well potted search it nothing not even a chipmunk how about the bed these beds are equal of the ones in our dorm rooms. Only these smell better. We are not taking a nap. That would be a bad idea. We'll miss dinner. And these are the same plants as the other ones back there. And there's nothing in the branches. Such a shame. Search the plant here. And nothing. Stained glass window. This is pretty. These windows make the room feel holy, holy. <laughs> feel holy, holy. Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, that was just so much. The blankets look comfy and warm. And look at these sheets. They're the good stuff. 40 thread count. Search it. If anyone's seen anything on the shelves, more power to them. I can't find anything. Okay, it looks like we have two more things to search and it's 30 after. Look at the brasier. I know it's for compounding medications and preparing ingredients. And that's the kind of thing. But I wait you make a pigeon stew for one with it too. Yes, I know this is Brasier now, and not Brasier. Thank you, Quest for Glory 5, for teaching me how to say the word Brasier. Look at the paraphernalia. I wonder what all this stuff is for. Maybe they make healing potions here. Consider how often I get hurt, it would be useful to take some first aid classes. Organize. What makes me think they're not already perfectly well organized? Yeah, that's a good point. All right, we need to head to the dinner room before we're late for lunch or dinner. I don't want to know what happens if you're late for dinner. I'm pretty sure we'll find out one day, but today is not that day. By the way, there was something else back there, like some other um, staircase going up. I wanted these two interline. Menu, Nova Roman Cuisine, Antipasto, Tagalate, Tagatelli with Bologna, Bolognese sauce, Bolognese sauce, and Panfort. Don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty fancy for a school dining hall. Open the door. Look at Turk. Turk is still angry at us. After all, even the best played hands of Weiss and Ben are blow away. By the way, this music. Do y'all hear this? Reminds me of Monkey Island. I'm sorry. That it just sounds like Monkey Island. It's it's so cool. Katie McMichael. Is that supposed to be funny? Well, it's funny to a bridge player. Here, we play poop-up rather than bridge. You do? When? Where? In the deck room. There's a game table of every play. We don't play very often. Usually just after an exam or before a holiday. They spend many evenings in the deck room. At least some of us do. Sounds like I should spend some time in the rec room then. Ah, this is not a place for Dilly Italian people. Clear up your mess and get on with your business elsewhere. Now, what we can do is we can go to the rec room, but we're not going to today. And the reason for that is because we still want to explore more of the school. And according to what our rat friend said, Gregor, right? Yes, Gregor. <sighs> Good evening, Master Sean. Oh, what can Gregor help you with today? Uh, hi, Gregor. I want to know uh, about this cellar door thing here. You said it's open, right? <gasps> Before the young master enters into danger, Gregor wishes to make sure that Master Spawn is prepared for danger. Uh, I do hope that you have some sort of weapon with which to defend yourself. Wait, that's danger? Uh, well, we do have a weapon. 
I'm fully prepared for any danger. Oh, please be careful, McMaster. There are many dangers in there. Uh oh, and if you see a door very, very dangerous, please do not open that door. Did you say it's only a little bit dangerous? Why? What's behind that door? <laughs> Gregor was also how to answer Mr. John. But Gregor only knows that something very large and very scary must be on that door. Don't worry. I know how to take care of myself. No, we don't. We so don't know how to take care of ourselves. This is a bad idea. Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of the cellar? The ratty knows. Oh, this is a bad idea. This place smells musty and sharp, like smell of vinegar. I guess most of the wine here must have spoiled. There are all sorts of creepy scuttling noises I can barely hear. Hope they're just drats. This is a really bad idea. We're gonna save. Uh, new save. Uh, this is a really bad idea. We don't even know how to do combat. That's very untidy. It offends me. What, the barrels? Open them. Oh, I don't dare. Opening barrels is a guild job. Could get you in all kinds of trouble. Knock on them. Well, I'm not going to knock on all of these. They're just too many. That one's obviously empty. Let me try one more. Nothing. I'm guessing that if these are empty. The rest are probably empty too. Fooey. Okay, there's a bigger stack of barrels here. These remind me of a time when I was 10 or so. Some friends and I wanted to explore this old abandoned monastery. And all the doors were locked except one. And in that room, we found a barrel with dozens of keys to the place. We ended up having such a great time that day. It was more fun than a barrel of monk keys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The heads are wedged in as tight as can be. Getting them out requires special tools. I've seen them being used, but I don't know what they're called. I definitely don't have any. I've also seen people wearing barrels when they had no money. You know, just to cover their nether regions. I think those are called intimate a barrel. Ah. Uh, knock on the barrels. Wine, wine, wine. Come out wherever you are. Rodents. And they've drunk all the wine that would have been rightfully mine. They've probably done the same with all these barrels. Candelabrum. I'm glad these are here. If it was in the dark, I'd be dead by now. So we have a gate, a wine rack, a nest. Down the way we have... Oh, I see something. There is definitely something there. A dire rat. Oh, that's what that thing was in the alleyway. It was a dire rat. Let's see. What do we have here? Looks like a bunch of wine balls with the corks all gnawed off. Most of these are empty and some of these are broken. I don't think these bottles will ever hold wine again, but they could be useful in a fight. Can we take one? Oh, we did. Good. If somebody attacks me, I can throw this wine bottle at it. Cool. So do we want to go in the gate or down here with the dire rats? Let us make sure we're saving off in here. It's a slightly rusted but still solid iron gate. I can just make out an iron bar on the other side that's sealing this shut. Can't really see much on the other side, but there looks like something is moving in the darkness. The door is barred from the other side. Okay, it looks like we are going to have our first combat in day two. Let us see what this is all about after we examine the rubble. <laughs> Look at the rubble. Just a lot of broken stones and bricks. They must have been repairing some of the walls and ceiling. I hope. Scrunch through it. I didn't come down here to be some kind of rubble rouser. Okay. Here we go. So I did not read the manual on this. I do not know how it works. I like how the flea buttons are chicken though. That's amazing. Apparently we have 20 hit points to their 12. This reminds me a lot of um, old school Fallout. So we can move around like this. Probably don't want to move too close. So let's end combat. Oh wait, that was a bad idea. Okay, there we go. No, we just went out of range. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now we can get in close and stab it. Oh, I guess not. I guess when you move, that's the end of your turn. Glancing blow, only one hit, and we took three damage. We took three damage again. Oh, we hit him that time. Seven hit points. Unfortunately, the other rats... Oh, the other rats are range, and we are taking some shots. And we missed! What a bad time for a miss! How unlucky can you get? And another glancing blow! Oh, uh, we are so dead. 
Another glancing blow. Our defense increased and we're down. Oh, our defense increased. <sighs> oh, uh, hi, Miss Moira. She doesn't look happy at us. You are lucky that Gregor rescued you from the wine cellar when he did. The drats almost killed you. Wow, we, we just lost all of day two because we fell horribly. Got a letter from mom. Here's a letter from my mama. How'd she know I was here? My darling Sean. Just so very happy I am to hear that you're at the Hero University. I can't tell you how proud it makes me feel to know that you have a chance at a brighter future. Take care of yourself there at the school. Be sure to make some new friends. Don't forget to study hard so that you can get good grades and a good job when you graduate. Your dad would be so very proud of you too. Your loving mother, Nora. Well, maybe I should try, at least try to take the school seriously. That would make mama happy. Now you may be wondering, hey, Fatless Bird, are you going to like load your game because you just got whooped by a pair of rats? And the answer is nope. I mean, that's, we didn't die and that's, I mean, I always like to say, if you don't die, why do you need to reload? Yes, we just lost an entire day, but that's part of his story. We now know not to go into the cellar until we get better training with our dagger. And we learned that lesson through experience. So yeah, we're just going to take the loss and we're going to remember that. And we're going to go back there one day and take out those Dire rats? Yeah, we're gonna take out those dire rats one day. Go to sleep. We're gonna be so tired tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Zzzz. I mean, we went to bed basically at like one o'clock in the morning after getting whooped. Er O'Connor, I suggest you pay attention to my lecture rather than the inside of your eyelids. Yeah. I thought we would get in trouble because we're so tired. As I was saying, a rogue uses a variety of different methods and techniques in his actions. The classic skill common to rogue and thieves is stealth. Unlike the common thief who considers that stealth means to tiptoe around everywhere hunched over like a gargoyle, rogues learn a method of sneaking that relies more upon his intelligence and perception rather than his agility. You know, I, I, I think they're taking a... I think they're taking a shot at themselves for Quest for Glory. Because the Quest for Glory, you know how you're like... walking around everywhere with your hands out and your legs out. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like seriously, in real life, I'm actually demonstrating what it looks like, but I don't have a camera, so... I don't know why I just did that. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know, watching Devin Aindale just sneak around everywhere is just so hilarious. This is called the way of the Kushina shop. Yeah, if I said that wrong, sorry. Heh, <laughs> heh. Did you find something amusing in what I said, Herr Kent? Sprachen Sie German? I think that means, do you speak German? Uh, 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 ein bisschen, Meister. I don't know what that means. Then perhaps you will explain the meaning to those in our class who do not share your superior education. What does the way of the Kushaba translate to in common? It's it's the, the way of the cockroach, sir. Indeed, the lowly cockroach is our model for stealth. He does not move slowly around a room, hoping that nothing notices his movement and squashes him. The cockroach first stops to look around and assess any potential danger. He listens for threats. He looks for shadows or places to conceal himself. Only then does he scuttle to his next hiding place. Put this lesson into practice. Whatever you have need of stealth, first observe your environment. Listen for potential danger. When appropriate, move directly to a place of concealment. Any questions? <laughs> Cushion job, hey, with three question marks. <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh, polite, clever, snarky. Let's be clever. So the way the cockroach is really a sells pitch. We need to stop, examine, listen, look, and sneak before we go. 
Ooh, what you think? Smarts, Master Van Arwald, and someone else like that. That went by too fast. That is a reasonable interpretation, yes. Stealth increased. The way of the Christian Chabe may one day save your life. Pause and observe before you react. On to Lawson. Alright, so now it is day three and we look at our character menu and we are so tired. Oh my gosh, yeah. So not only did getting knocked out cause us all our time from day two, it's also going to make us horrible on day three. Wonderful. Our stealth went up to 10. Our defense went up to 19. Perception and smarts went up as well. I like having these nice numbers. Um, I like, you know, numbers of five. So charm is 14. I don't like that. Defense 19. I don't like that. I want it to be 20 or 15. You know what I mean? We'll look at our reputation. Gregor is a good friend now. Hey, how about that? Moira is an acquaintance. And we have more acquaintances here. Task Turk is still an enemy. Meister is still an acquaintance. Cesare's dislike. And Katie's an acquaintance. As far as our inventory, we do have healing pills, which we probably could have used. Except our luck was horrible. I don't think we would have won anyway. The glass seems really thin and fragile. If I threw the ball at an enemy, I suppose it might do some damage. Sharp cuts. Sharp glass can cut deeply, even if it breaks easily. Probably should have thrown that too. But even if we had thrown all our, all our items, our throwing skill is a 20. I don't know. Maybe it would have worked. I mean, I don't know what these numbers exactly mean yet, except, you know, our highest number that we start with was fitness, which is 25. Our to-do list, Christian Chabe. I swear he makes these words up, but it's just sneaking, and that should be fun. It's also a prudent when enemies are nearby. Dress for success. Mr. Turk will give me demerits if I'm not wearing the official school uniform during school hours. Well, that is... That's bad, because I don't have any money. And I need to get some money. We'll read about our adventures in day three um, next time. And it looks like we have a few things to read. Doesn't seem like we have anything to read about our unfortunate dire incident. But I am the flightless bird. And we will go through day three again another day. So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.